Hey YouTubers, this is CJ Hot Wheels after a long, long hiatus. It's been probably three or four months since my last video. And uh, honestly, I just haven't gotten around to making a video. I found a few things here and there, but just haven't gotten around to making a video. I guess I guess you can say I'm not as passionate as I used to be. But I figured it's it's about time for a new video. So uh, I found some new newer cars. I got a few 2020 Hot Wheels. Got some Matchbox and some Car Culture and Fast and Furious cars and so on. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look. So first off, we have this mouthful name. Porsche Panamera Turbo SE Hybrid Sport Turismo. I just call it the Porsche Panamera Station Wagon. It's pretty cool. I like the uh, the the uh, plastic headlights, and then the cool detailed tail lights. I still have the gray one, the first edition, way up here, still sitting here. Got another Porsche, a new casting, the '89 Porsche 944 Turbo. That one's pretty cool. I love the simplicity. It's just got the parking lights and the fog lights detailed. And then the back, it's got the tail lights, even though they blend in with the red paint. But there is a recolor coming out. It's going to be in gold. Gold with black wheels. So that'll be really nice. The artwork for 2020 hasn't really changed all that much from 2019. The only, thing that's, the only things that are different is... The Guaranteed for Life logo is, well, if it'll focus, the Guaranteed for Life logo has been updated. And I think even the new for 2020 circle is also updated. But everything else, every other aspect, it's the same. And I figured I haven't posted anything, so I might as well show these off too. This is really cool. I found this about three months ago. It's the... Um, New another new casting, the 1998 Subaru Impreza 22B. I'm surprised at how many I see in store, like in dump bins, on the pegs. I figured this would be gobbled up like crazy, but when I hit the dump bin for the B case yesterday, there were tons of these Subarus in there. I'm, I'm surprised. I guess people don't like it. I guess people are getting sick and tired of all the JDM. And then here's the R32 Nissan Skyline, which is the super for the A case, which of course I still haven't found. I like that. Tail lights, the charcoal gray paint with the charcoal gray wheels. And then we have the GameStop exclusive, 91 Mazda Miata in kind of a British racing green. Well, the Mazda Miata, when it was getting designed back in the late 80s, was intended to commemorate the old British 60s Roadsters. And that's probably why they went for a British Racing Green for this one. So this is the third color of this car. We had one in blue, and then a recolor in red in the Q case, and now the green one for the B case. But I didn't get this car at GameStop. I actually went to the Turkey Run Car Show, which is a very, very famous car show for Floridians. It's a tradition in our family to go every single year since 2005. And there's a ton of vendors there, too. And there's one guy in particular who sells new Hot Wheels. He has new basics and green lights and car culture and Fast and Furious cars and all sorts of brands. His, his uh, booth is huge. Uh, these are old. People have seen these by now. The Shelby, the Alpine A110, and the uh, Range Rover Velar. Even though I, do, I really like that Velar. That's pretty sweet. It's too bad the white version is only a Kroger exclusive. Because I was hoping to find that, and I'm like, why am, why am I not seeing these online? Because they're only available at Kroger's, which is a West, uh, like a Midwestern slash West Coast store. It's kind of like what Publix is to the southeast. It's it's exclusive to one section of the country. 
And another car I got from that vendor at the Turkey Run was the 96 Porsche Carrera in black, which is the first to market, one of the first to markets. That's really cool. Black with front and rear detailing, that's all it needs. They could have detailed the, the, uh, the parking lights. I don't know why they didn't do that. Is it because it has to wrap around the body, the front bumper like that, and they can't do that? Anyway. So here's the Golf Ford GT40, which is the super of the B case. And I wasn't the first person to go through this dump bin. Because when I saw the dump bin, it was a three cubby dump bin. And the one way I could tell that it was already gone through is one cubby was already emptying. So it wasn't overflowing like it was fresh from the back. And also some of the cards were already beat up from people emptying it out and going through them and putting them back. And also someone took all of the regular Golf GT40s, took them out of the dump bin, put them on a peg, on one peg in the toy aisle to let people know, ha 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 ha, I got the super. So here are all the regulars. It's basically a giant middle finger to collectors. They're just letting you know that they found the super. So here are all the regulars if you want. So, but uh, here's another oddball new casting. This is really cool. The RV there yet. It's like a cartoony uh, car with an attached camper. I thought that was really, really cool. I, when I saw pictures of this, I'm like, that is so neat. And what's kind of cool is this is all one piece, but to make it look like two pieces, there is a gap, there is a panel gap right here to separate the car from the trailer. And they even, uh, they put a tampo of what was going to be the rear wheels for the car. And there's even a hump on the body itself where the wheels and tires would be, but it's just all tampo. I think that's really cool. Yeah, because because Mattel has these strict safety regulations now, you can kind of see inside there's a little safety beam to hold the body and the chassis together, so I guess they don't easily come apart. I think that ruins the, the look of certain cars. Uh, let's see, that one's old. That's actually the regular treasure hunt for the Q case, the 67 Camaro, which is actually really cool. I think that's my... Well, no, that's, well, that's probably my second regular treasure hunt for 2019. I have the Twin Mill from uh, a year ago, and that's about it. So that's old. That's old. Yeah, all these are old. Everyone's seen these. I still find tons of these cars on the pegs at Target and Walmart everywhere I go. So, But here's something that I haven't seen featured a whole lot. I found these, I think, two weeks ago, two or three weeks ago. The Fast Rewind set. It's basically famous cars from some of the Fast and the Furious movies, but put on older versions of those cars. So we got the Mazda RX-3, which is really cool. So this is an older version of Dom's RX-7 from the first Fast and the Furious. If it'll focus. There we go. And then we have the Nissan Skyline C210, which is an older version of the R33 Skyline, from also from the first Fast and the Furious movie. And then the Nissan Skyline 2000 GTX, which is the older version of the R34 Skyline from Too Fast, Too Furious. And then the Nissan Fairlady Z, which is DK's older version of the Nissan 350Z from the Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift. That's pretty cool. That What is that, a cockroach on the side? Or is that... And then we have my favorite one, the Nissan Silvia, which is Han's... Uh, Nissan Silvia S15 
one of those from also from the Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift. And what's kind of cool, a cool little design, a cool little attention to detail that I noticed. If you look at the artwork, the shadow of the car is a silhouette of the new version or the actual version of that car. Because that's an S15 uh, Sylvia shadow. And oh, see right here, there's the R34 skyline as the shadow, and so on, and so on, and so on. So that's really cool. That's a nice, that's a cool little attention to detail. So you have the old version of these cars, and then you have the shadow of the of the actual version underneath it. That's pretty cool. And uh, uh, these aren't peg warmers because right when they hit the pegs, they're gone. So, they're kind of like Japan historics. They never linger on the pegs. Yeah, those street tuners everyone's seen. Uh, let's see. A few Matchbox. That's pretty cool. That's This has been out for a while, but this is the only one I grabbed from the Jeep series. The Willys Jeepster. That's pretty cool. It's a new casting. Highly detailed. And then I got the Subaru SVX, which is really cool. Another new casting. I just wish they detailed the headlights, because they could have done that. They did detail the parking lights, but whoop-de-doo. They could have done the front end. They could have done the grill, too. They could have put some black paint in there. And then I have a few of these uh, super fast chase pieces. I think they're chases. That's why they're gold. So I got the BMW i8, the Mercedes G63, AMG 6x6, the Chevy Camaro convertible, and the BMW 2002. So I think that's about it. Oh, that's pretty cool. I got that too at the at the uh, turkey run. I finally got that Toy Story Pizza Planet truck. Yeah, so that's it. A little update on where I've been for the past three months. So uh, hope you enjoyed.